Welcome to the Awaken, Heal, and Thrive podcast. This episode is called The Manifestation Magic of Momentum. I'm Benjamin Bernstein, and this episode is sponsored by my book and audiobook, the number one Amazon bestseller called Instant Divine Assistance, Your Complete Guide to Fast and Easy Spiritual Awakening, Healing, and More. Just go to Amazon and search for Instant Divine Assistance or click the link in the show notes. I publish both audio and video versions of Awaken, Heal, and Thrive, so take your pick. The video versions are on my YouTube channel called Benjamin Bernstein Podcasts. I drop new episodes of this podcast twice a month. Be sure to subscribe to Awaken, Heal, and Thrive wherever you get it. And if you haven't already, be sure to click the link in the show notes for a free chance to win a full year of my Awakening Plus online membership. I announce a new winner every month. So the manifestation magic of momentum. In my experience at almost 64 years old now, I found momentum to be an indispensable piece of getting accomplishments done, a critical key to success. I'd like to illustrate this first with my own personal journey. This is highly abbreviated, but these are some ways in which momentum has helped me. A big turning point in my life came at the age of 41. I left a 15-year sales job with a major food service company in Oklahoma and moved to Asheville, North Carolina to be a singer-songwriter. <laughs> And it didn't turn out so well, but, you know, I decided I am tired of just working for a paycheck, no matter how much they pay me, I really want to be following my life purpose. So I'd been training in music, taking voice lessons, learning songwriting, performance, you know, I'd really studied the craft the best I could, and then got to Asheville and started doing some gigs, but never made any serious amount of money. But I had momentum. I kept at it. I did everything I could to get gigs and make a name for myself as a musician. I recorded a studio album and then a live album. So I kept after it, kept after it. However, it became clear that that wasn't my optimal path. And finally, I realized, hey, this is not my livelihood. And synchronistically, around that time, I became interested in astrology. My best friend was a 20-year professional astrologer. He became my mentor and all of a sudden, I got really excited about astrology. And within two years, he said, hey, you've learned enough. Hang out your shingle. And I started, you know, in Asheville, North Carolina. This was mainly local business at that time. And here I am in a city full of very accomplished professional astrologers. And I said, well, what have I got to offer? I mean, I'm a newbie. And why would people choose me over all these more seasoned astrologers? And he says, remember, if you can just tell them one helpful thing in your reading, you've earned your keep. And I kept that in mind and started getting better. And I had momentum. I just kept doing it. I advertised in the local paper. I showed up just about every week at the local natural food store that had a little cafe area where they let me set up and do walk-up readings. I did walk-up readings at local festivals. I really just hit it hard. I had momentum, pushing myself very diligently and built up a practice over the years, which is still going today. And the sheer persistence, the sheer momentum of just doing it, doing it, doing it, getting better, learning more skillfully how to promote myself, building a clientele I could start depending on, the momentum was so important with that. And that same principle has been true in everything I've done since. When I, to my surprise, branched out into shamanic healing, thanks to all the ayahuasca and San Pedro ceremonies I was doing and the training I got from the plant spirits, I had to do that in addition to training from humans, of course. I started doing that and just kept at it, momentum, momentum, just kept doing it, getting better at it by practicing it, learning what I could, continuing to being taught by the plant spirits that has built into a successful shamanic healing practice as well. Same principle with my Awakening Plus online membership. When I started, it was a handful of people. Actually, it started as in-person meetings in my house. All I did was something called the shamanic awakening ceremony. And, you know, did that for a year or two and then started doing things online. And that gradually branched out to become my Awakening Plus membership. That's the third iteration of my online offering. And now it's a full-blown, fully featured membership that helps a lot of people, hundreds of them. And that built slowly over time because I kept it going and I kept the momentum going, always improving, always upgrading, always taking it to the next level the best I could. I like to say, what's the biggest room in the world? Room for improvement. <laughs> and I take that to heart in everything I do. I can also give the momentum principle in terms of my own journey of spiritual awakening and healing. Ever since the age of 17, when I became interested in spiritual practice, I was always doing what I could to awaken more deeply and heal more completely. I really think I was doing things that were only marginally helpful 
compared to the efficacy of the plant spirit work I started doing when I came to Asheville. And the last 17, 18 years of work with ayahuasca and San Pedro and magic mushrooms have made a massive difference in my consciousness. And, and it is those plant spirits help that allows me to do what I do today. However, I think awakening is endlessly incremental, and I don't care how skillful a person is, chances are they're still only at a fraction of what they could be doing. And I always keep that humility in mind, knowing that the distance I have to go in terms of how much better I could be and how much more helpful I could be is always greater than the distance I've traveled. But again, momentum, 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 keep doing it. The way I do my shamanic healing practice today is very different than what it looked like in the first couple of years. But you keep the momentum up and you grow and you evolve and you change. So those are just some examples from my own life of how the momentum principle has been so important. Yes, it helps to have some natural gift at what you're doing. Um, it helps to have a passion for it. But, you know, so many people, in fact, the majority, sadly, who have talent, who have the gift, do not really manifest it in a meaningful way because they just don't stick with it. They don't keep the momentum up and keep it going. It's so important. In preparing for this episode, I did a little web research on momentum and I found a wonderful post from a gentleman named Dean Graziosi. Uh, it's called How to Build Momentum in Life, 20 Tips for Gaining Momentum. I don't want to steal too much of his thunder, but here is 10 of the 20 tips he gives. Now, in each one, he elaborates on them. But here's a sampling of some of the ideas that will help you with your momentum. Again, courtesy of Dean Graziosi. Don't hesitate, just start. Get out of your comfort zone. Set short and long-term goals. Schedule your day. Visualize your success. Push through the pain. Focus on one problem at a time. Execute no matter how you feel. Move on from what's not serving you and do the important work. For his other 10 tips and elaborations on them, visit his wonderful blog post on momentum, which I have linked in the show notes. Now, I did touch on the theme of manifestation. That brings up the idea of law of attraction. That's not the topic of this episode. However, I have put a link in the show notes to my law of attraction post, which has some helpful info and which itself links to my favorite law of attraction book. So if you want to take that level of manifestation, go for that. But again, momentum is a key piece of manifesting whatever you want in my experience. Just get out there, start doing it, do it the best you can, don't stop. And the persistence will take you often farther than those who might even be more talented. On that same idea, I was just watching an interview with one of my favorite science fiction authors, Alistair Reynolds. In this interview, he said he'd been writing books for 30 years and had been given a, a million pound contract to write 10 books. He's a British author. And he said, I he know of other authors he'd been aware of that he felt were more talented than he was. But it was just his persistence, his momentum, just writing book after book after book that was to account for much of his success. So it applies in any field, no matter what you're doing. All right. So that's what I wanted to tell you about momentum. Here is a five-star Amazon review of my number one best-selling book. The review is titled Powerful and Practical. C. O. Rawley wrote, quote, If you have found your way to this book, you probably are facing some kind of life challenge and looking for answers. Buy this book immediately. I was at a challenging point in my life, and I can't tell you how much this daily practice helped me through that. This book is easy to read and gives you everything you need to know to begin this powerful spiritual practice. There are special invocations for specific situations and also guidance on how to create your own personalized invocations. Benjamin's writing style is so approachable and friendly, you feel like you have a friend on the path with you. The Ada invocations are a powerful and practical tool for life. End quote. And thank you for those kind words. My book's 15-word title is <gasps> Instant Divine Assistance, Your Complete Guide to Fast and Easy Spiritual Awakening, Healing, and More. If you like to listen, my audiobook is free if you are not yet an Audible member. And if you have Amazon Prime, you get my audiobook plus another one for free. Click the audiobook link in the show notes to take advantage of this wonderful offer. Instant Divine Assistance is also available as an ebook, paperback, and hardcover. Click the link in the show notes to check it out on Audible or Amazon or read it in Kindle Unlimited. Also, 
Would you like to speed up your healing and awakening as part of an uplifting community with hundreds of dedicated awakeners? Then check out Awakening Plus, the online membership that can put your personal transformation into high gear. You can choose from about a dozen Zoom calls every month, as well as an ever-expanding archive of more than 600 events that can profoundly change your life. You'll also benefit from three major courses and much more to help you awaken, heal, and thrive. To find out more, click the link in the show notes or visit awakeningplus.com. That's awakeningplus.com. Thanks for being here. Once again, I'm Benjamin Bernstein, and we are wrapping up. Please leave me a five-star rating, review, or comment wherever you're getting this episode so others can also awaken, heal, and thrive. And be sure to click the link in the show notes for a chance to win one free year of my Awakening Plus online membership. Thanks again for spending this time with me. I wish you infinite blessings.